4 CG, man, you know how the fuck we rockin', man. Four corner glow game, man. You know how the fuck I'm bubbling, man. You know how I'm coming, man. Alright, y'all, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We got a you know how the fuck we follow. I want to say a case that's going on. It seems like there's more information coming out. It seems like she was thinking about suicide, courting, that she told the police that she was thinking about suicide. And then also, we found out that later on, there's a Facebook page that belonged to Kalala's parents and were raising money for mental health awareness. So, I mean, this is some very vital stuff. I mean, that, that this is bringing a lot of pieces together. And then, to keep more updates, she did go to court that same Thursday at 12 in the afternoon at Concord District Court, and she's pleading not guilty. She does have a lawyer already. Um, it's an automatic plea of not guilty was entered. Her lawyer, Perez, did not argue for bail, but asked for and was granted funds for both investigator and forensic psychi the psychiatric and evaluate the client's competency. So I don't know if she's competent to basically go to trial by herself. She's definitely going to have a lawyer and it's probably, I don't know if it's a public defender or a paid lawyer, but regards to that, Jessica is due back in court August 20th and it's going to be a hearing and it's basically going to be basically on all the charges and she's going to have to present her argument. But the fact that she admitted to her boyfriend's parent that she killed her parents. And then on top of it, I'm still wondering about like the dynamic of the fact that she shot her parents both in the head and then she walked back in the house. Cause I'm just, cause I, there's a huge piece that's missing to me. Did she walk back in the house with the gun and just said, I killed my parents or she just left the gun where it was and then walked back in the house, said she killed her parents. And then once she told them, they just called the cops and she just stood there, or sat there. I mean, the whole dynamic and everything is just so odd. And it's very sad because Bedford's a small town. Everyone knows each other and word gets around quick. And things like this, you know, shed a bad light because there hasn't been a shooting or a killing in Bedford since like 1980-something. So it's been almost over 20, 30-plus years. And, you know, God forbid more happen. and Hopefully not, but... I think we're going to find out more with this whole investigation story and what was going on with Jessica, how she was feeling. There probably was some built up tension or something going on. It is already kind of a weird, questionable dynamic. She's living with her boyfriend's parents. I mean, that's not really weird, but the fact that, I don't know, she killed her parents. She wasn't living with her parents. And I don't know, maybe they didn't have such a good relationship, but there's probably more going to come out from this story. So we're going to keep y'all up to date. Like I said, our court hearing is August 20th. So like, comment, subscribe. we got more content coming soon. Stay posted.